I'm Neil Huntley. We're here at Hartside Nursery Garden up in the North Pennines. My father bought the nursery nearly 50 years ago and we're about the highest nursery in the country. We're about 1,050 feet above sea level, so very much a countryside area. We specialise in some of the rarer alpines and rock garden plants and woodland plants from all over the world. Very much the plants that we enjoy growing and we're very fortunate that the plants we enjoy seem to like to grow here. I actually left school having done my A-levels to go and do something else and having a sort of a year to do resits, I got bitten by the bug of plants. My father had bought the property to start the nursery and I got involved in it almost from the start. And I've just learnt from my father, uh, learnt as I've gone along, read the books, talked to other people. Um, the Alpine plant world is a very generous world with the information that people are prepared to share. And that's one of the really nice things about gardening. Um, so yes, nearly 50 years later, I'm still here on what some people would call a rather extended gap year. I think what sets us apart here at Heartside is that we're prepared to propagate um, really small numbers of lots of different things. It gives me enormous uh, satisfaction and pleasure just to have so many different plants. That's what we like about it, it's having such a range of things. For the connoisseurs and the collectors, we're one of the nurseries that will keep some of these plants going even when they're really quite rare and difficult to grow. The main thing we're displaying at Tatton this year are the collection of Roscoe's we've got. We're trying very hard this year to have as wide a range of different ones as possible in flower. Whether that works or not, we will see the results. But the Roscoe's are a member of the ginger family. So very hardy plants from the Himalayas and China, named in honor of William Roscoe, who was a politician and an abolitionist. Um, they've been around um, in gardens for about 200 years, but in recent years, there's a lot of new breeding been going on, so lots of new cultivars, and we can have Roscoe's in flower now in the normal garden situation from around about the end of May through till September, October. So quite a long flowering season, and they're really hardy. I mean, we get about 80 inches of rain a year. We can get temperatures down to minus 20 degrees. And if the Roscoe's are hardy here in those conditions, they have to be hardy for just about everybody in the country. The great thing about the horticultural industry is the way people are prepared to exchange information and exchange plants and share knowledge about growing plants. We've had an enormous amount of pleasure. Don't take it from that, that we're retiring and giving up. Um, as long as I can be growing plants, I will do. Um, but the, hopefully the, uh, the public and the customers continue to appreciate the range of plants that the smaller specialist nurseries who grow these small numbers of rarely available plants can offer to the public.